for solid waste districts and nonprofits to spruce up their surroundings. The main goal is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Meteorologist Tara Hastings shows us what's working in the Miami Valley. One step at a time, Taylor Park has taken on a new shape. It's one of the oldest parks in Moraine, but now has a fresh look and feel. It's a pretty broad, multifaceted program, but our goal is to promote recycling in the county and also to um, promote uh, the use of recycled content products. Last year, Moraine received a recycling grant from the Montgomery County Solid Waste District. The main goal around Kirby's Cardinal Nest is for kids to have fun, all while learning at the same time. We really wanted to do something that benefited the community, but also with this grant gave us an opportunity to invest it in recycled material and show our kids who use this playground, hey, you know, when you recycle, these are where your things are going. It took the Moraine Streets and Parks Department about three days to construct this playground. It's estimated it's made from about 60,000 milk jugs. And it's just as durable or even stronger than wood. And everything surrounding the main playground, like the benches, trash bins, and mulch, are all made from 100% recyclable materials. The mulch is actually made from um, recycled wooden skids. There's a company in Cincinnati that specialized it when we went with them. Um, so this is all wooden skids that you might ship things on. The grant is open to any solid waste district member and even nonprofits or schools. It's done on a 70-30 split. Um, so basically whatever your project budget is, you can request 70% of that budget from us and you have to have a 30% match because we want you to have some investment. And if your community is interested in applying for the grant from the Montgomery County Solid Waste District, it's now accepting applications. We put a link on WDTN.com to the application, which is due on March 22nd. Reporting live, I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News.